Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Haltech's Q&A, where you ask the questions, and I try and give you the answers. Our first question today comes from Kent, and he asks, what functions can you control with your external rotary trim switches? Well, Kent, the rotary trim switch is a potentiometer that's got 12 positions. It's got a five volt, a signal wire, and a zero volt. So basically what we do with this, get our power supply going into it, an analog input or AVI channel is also wired to that potentiometer or that trim switch. Once we've got that coming into the ECU, we can calibrate it to have 12 positions or 12 levels, depending on what we're talking about. So let's say we're talking about our boost target table. We could have one through to 12 levels of boost control depending on where that trim knob is located. We could also have maybe a maximum throttle angle. Uh, we could have different ignition maps or different fuel maps. We might have different auxiliary rev limiters or two-step rev limiters. We might change our main engine RPM limiter. We might use it to put the ECU into a valet mode or something like that. So the answer is that this trim knob, we can actually use it as a table axis inside the Elite ECU and map virtually any table against this trim switch. Perfect applications for the rotary trim switches are things like maybe in your circuit car, if you've got a practice, a qualifying and a, and a race switch so you can change the levels while the car's sitting in the pits. Or maybe if you've got a drag car, you could look at the track condition and you might see that the car before you got down a bit better or a bit worse than you thought. So you can trim a bit of power out of it or put a bit of power into it on the start line without your laptop. The second question of the day comes from Justin. What ECU would you recommend for a Nissan 300ZX with a VG30ET? Justin, we're just out of range with the VG30ET or the single turbo 300ZX. So our plug and play solution, which fits the later model or the Z32 300ZX with the twin turbo engine, uh, will not fit as a direct plug-in ECU for your car. So the right solution for yours is something like our Elite 750 series ECU as a wire-in application. So what we would do there is we would wire the Elite 750 in to share all of the, the sensors. We would take control over the fuel, the ignition, and the boost control. So you've got a full programmable ECU ready to tune your VG30 single turbo car. And our last question today comes from Tiny. In a race car with a battery on off switch or a, a, a big red key, what should you do to keep the ECU from seeing spikes if the safety crew kills your switch while the engine's still running? Tiny, awesome question. This does come up a lot. We've done a couple of videos about it before. So the most important thing with your battery cutoff switch is that it has four poles, not two like some of the older series battery cutoff switches. The two bigger terminals are obviously for the battery power supply. So they're coming from the battery positive into the key out of the key into the alternator, starter motor, that sort of area. Whereas the two smaller poles on the battery isolator key are used to either as a, as a kill signal for the ECU. So when we throw that switch, yes, it isolates the battery, but it also sends a signal to the ECU to kill the engine, so to turn it off. If your ECU doesn't have that sort of input to be able to disable the engine like that, you can also use it to disable the alternator. So we do that, we, we, that signal goes in, we allow it to stop the alternator field from making any more power, in turn, keeping the engine running off the alternator power while the battery has essentially been taken out of the circuit. So if you've got an Elite Series ECU, what we'd be doing is having those two smaller poles on your battery isolator switch. One side would go to ground, the other side would go to an input on your ECU that would be set up for the kill function. So when the key turns off, the ECU gets a signal saying something has gone horribly wrong. The ECU turns itself off as well as the battery being isolated. Well, there are all our questions for today. As always, we really appreciate you sending them in. You guys sending the questions in helps us because we don't have to make them up. So if you're thinking about a question, 
please put it in the comments below, send it to us on Facebook, or shoot us an email straight off the website. As always, thanks very much for watching. My name's Scott, and I'll see you next time.